Hey everyone, welcome back to React course. In this lecture, we will understand how to create our own component in React. In the previous lecture, we learned the file structure of React application and what is the package.json file. Now in this lecture, we will create our own component and create a fruit list in that component. So when you build your React application, the default component you will get is app component. So this is your first default component. So before we create our own component, I just wanted to start my development server. So to do that in Visual Studio Code, I will just say control tilde operator and just start my development server. I already started my development server using npm start command. Before you execute this command, make sure you are in your application directory, right? So I am in my app directory. So I will just say npm start command and press enter to start my development server, right? So this is my default React application. Now I just wanted to create my own component in React application. To do that, I will just cut this terminal. I will just get rid of this header tag. And here I will say h1, close my h1 heading tag and simply say hello world, right? And save my document and here you will get your hello world. This text is center because of this class name, right? We have a default class name here imported from app.css file, this one. So using this styling, we have this text on center, right? Just after that, I just wanted to create my own component. To do that, here we have a source folder. So whenever you wanted to create a component, you need to create that component in the source folder. So I will just select the source folder and create a directory to simplify the file structure. So I will just create a directory here, new folder and say component, right? So in this directory, I will just create a file. So I will just right click here and say new file and just name this file and just say fruit list dot jsx right now here i am using camel notation so the first letter of the first word is lowercase and the first letter of the second word is uppercase and just specify jsx extension this extension is helpful for html code completion right so i'm using jsx here and just press enter so this is our first react component file so in this file, you just need to import react.component class, right? So you just need to say import react. And I just wanted to import the react component class. So I will just say here comma and in the parenthesis, I will just say component, right? And I just wanted to import this component class from the react module right you can do the same thing with snippet also so what you need to do is just get rid of this statement and go to your extensions of visual studio code and just install this extension which is this simple react snippet using the simple react snippet you can create your code just like this if you wanted to import a react module here you just need to say imr and press tab this will import your react module and if you wanted to import your component class along with the react module you just need to say imr say this will import your react module with component class and just after that if you wanted to create a component class you just need to say cc so the cc stands for create component so this will create a component class for us right so you just need to install this extension in your Visual Studio code and just reload your browser. I will just close this tab and back to my fruit list.jsx file. Now here, now here I just wanted to import a react component class. So I will just say here imrc and press tab. Done. So here you have your react module with a component class, right? Just after that, here I just need to create a component class. To create a component class, I just need to say CC here. So this will create your component class. So I will just press enter, 
right so here this class is extending the component class when you press enter the cursor is reflect on two location the first is just after the class name and second is just after the default keyword now here i just wanted to create a class so i will just say here fruit list right so now here you have state property we will understand what is the state property in the next lecture but just for now i will just get rid of the state property and here we have our render method with return keyword right now here this return keyword is returning multiple statements because here we have parenthesis and in this parenthesis what i will do is i will just create a division tag so i will just say div and press tab and you will get your opening and closing division tag here because of using .jsx extension of this file just after that i will just specify a class name so i will just say class name is equal to and the class name is gonna be app and just after in this division tag i will create h1 heading tag with hello world right and save this document and i will just remove this simple h1 heading tag from the app.js component i will just save this document when you save that development server will automatically reload and render your ui right so when you execute this you will get nothing because we did not render this component yet right so to render this component you just need to go to index.js file here you will find index.js file so here you will find react dome.render method so here you will see the render method is rendering app component I just wanted to render my fruit list component so uh, what i will do is i will just go to index.js file and just get rid of this app text and say here fruit list right and save my document but before you execute this you need to import this fruit list file in this index.js so to do that you just need to import this file so i will just say import name of your component so the name of my component is fruit list so i will just say fruit list and where you wanted to import this component so i will just say from and in the double code i will just specify dot forward slash this will refers to the source directory right just after that here i just wanted to select my component directory specify forward slash and this is my fruit list component so i will just enter here right so now our fruit list component is imported in index.js file now you can use this component here in react.render method i will just save this file and you will get hello world on the document right now i just want to create a fruit list in my component so i will just go to my fruit list component and i will just get rid of this h1 heading tag and here what i will do is i will just create order list i will just say curly braces here so as you know we are using this curly braces to bind variable values to the ui and you can also execute any javascript statement in this curly braces so here i will just create a property of fruit of fruit list component so here i will just say this dot property props dot and just create my property so i will just say fruits here just after that i will specify dot here and call map function now on each element of fruits property i will perform some operation so i will just use map function for that right so in map function i will just specify parameter so i will just say element here and call an arrow and just specify a statement so i will just say here li close this li tag and just wanted to print this element right so i will just click here and say curly braces and specify my element so now on each element of fruit list i will create li tag and print on the ui i will just save this document 
So when you execute this, you will get this error. The error says that cannot read property map of undefined because we did not initialize this fruit list property. So I will just go to index.js file and here you can initialize your fruits property. So what you will need to do is you just need to say fruits is equal to and in the curly braces you just need to specify an array. So I will just say array here and specify my fruits. So I will just say here mango, banana and apple, right? This fruit list property is initialized with an array. So the map function will get each array element and print on the UI, right? So I will just save this index.js file and you will get your mango, banana and apple on your document, right? It is very simple to create React component in the React application. In the next lecture, we will understand what is state and how you can use that. That's it. I hope you understand how to create component in React application. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment. That is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.